if you're studying for the MCAT, you need to watch this. So studying for the MCAT has to be one of the hardest exams I've taken. And mind you, I've taken step one, step two, step three, and everything beyond from residency to fellowship to be a cardiologist. And still, that test made me want to pull my hair out. And if I knew that there was a tool that could exist that would tell me, here's what you should study, let me help you review, let me help you test yourself, here's the study schedule on what you should do every single day, I would have been like, sign me up. And so today I'm going to break down exactly how RemNote plus their new MCAT tool allows you to do exactly that. Like, I'm so excited because this is going to be freaking awesome. Now, as a personal story when I was a junior at UT Austin back in 2012-13. So I'm aging myself, studying for the MCAT. I was using a combination of Princeton Review, texts from Exam Crackers, Kaplan, and I just had stacks and stacks of books that I would take to the LBJ library that was on campus near my car and I would just study as long as I could and do questions and wonder why my practice exam scores were so garbage. And I would just do this over and over again. My score would like kind of improve, kind of improve. I couldn't afford a review course that my classmates and peers were doing. One really if I should just like figure it out and like take a loan to do so and I sat for the exam I did okay I got into medical school etc but that studying process was just terrible and now our friends at RemNode have just introduced their new MCAT tool asked me to review it asked me if we could talk about it on this channel I looked at it and I was like hell yes because I wish I had this so today I'm gonna break down all of the ways that RemNode plus their new MCAT dashboard and platform can help you study and make the process a whole lot easier than it was for me now as a full disclaimer this episode is sponsored by RemNode but if you've ever noticed on this channel. I don't really talk about the MCAT very much, and although I get pitched a lot of MCAT platforms, frankly, I would have never like, used any of them. This is like the one exception, and I use RemNote all the time and made tons of videos about the actual tool, how I even use it on a daily basis as a cardiology fellow. I'll link those videos down below in case you're interested, but after checking this out, like it was a very easy yes for me to talk about on the channel because I would have used it if I was in your shoes. All right, so let's just dive in so you understand why this is such an easy yes. RemNote basically is a tool that I love describing as Anki plus like your best outline collection life storage organization kind of tool. And again, there's videos down below in case you're interested in a full review. But frankly, you don't have to use the other elements of RemNote if you just want to study for their MCAT, although I recommend doing both. So the RemNote team basically worked together with some of the top MCAT tutors and high scorers and created essentially the platform that any student would want, which is combined with the top course content, essentially all of the top resources that people use, Khan Academy being a very popular one, to help you learn the material and breaking all of those down. And I'm going to walk through this in a second. And then in addition, being able to allow you to study using the capabilities of RemNotes flashcards, AI technology, as well as being able to create Cubics. So let's just kind of dive right in to just be able to explain each of the different features they have. So first, we're going to start with the course content and essentially RemNote has built an entire MCAT platform of all the topics you need to know from biology to chemistry to physics, etc. And essentially you have a module or various different chapters. So let's just go and click one to be able to kind of get an example. And I was a neuroscience major when I was in college. So we're just going to start with membrane potential because that just feels geeky and exciting for me. And let's say we're going to start on this potential description. And as we get linked into the lesson, this will link into the Khan Academy video and instead you can also have other options like if you want to read the Kaplan version of the book. The Khan Academy has some like great lectures that people use for free anyways. Now it's just put into one free place. So you can do start full interactive lesson and it's going to prompt you to watch the video. And the nice thing about the AI tools that are built in is that it will actually naturally pause you as you go to different parts of the video. And one of the coolest features that I've noticed is that it's not just here's the video, watch it, and then we'll ask you questions about it. But the video actually will prompt you at different parts of the video of like, okay, let's pause. Do you understand what's going on here? Or what amino acid was that? Or what neurotransmitters needed in this process? So it's a very active forms of quizzing. And then you can highlight different parts of the video and use their AI ability to explain things even more in case you're watching a video and saying like, that doesn't make any sense. And then after watching the video, you can go to a repeat back or essentially we'll get a high yield kind of summary and review. It's actually going to ask you to try to see, can you figure out and remember the types of graded potential? Can you figure out how an action potential is generated and you can try to reteach yourself this out loud after watching the video and then have RemNote reveal how the different steps happen. And again, if you're really not sure how something happens, the AI tutor is always kind of on the side. So you can ask questions be like, explain this better, like I was six or three, or like if you're like my daughter, then two. But this kind of is a very nice way of saying, I've watched the video. The video is going to ask me questions or potentially have some
some pauses where I'm going to be able to answer things. And I am now going to be able to immediately quiz myself. But before I even get to flashcards where I'm not just going to ask you, like, do you understand the overall stuff? And then some follow up questions in case you need it. And then you can go to your flashcard model where you, step three, you can go ahead and type your answers, which is even nice. You can speak them out and or just kind of quiz yourself by showing the answers and using any images. And then you can say forgot, disabled, remembered. But of course, you guys are brilliant. So we're going to remembered. And you can do these for all the flashcards and these will get added to your collection of study schedules. And the last thing I'm going to show is how you can essentially use Remnote to say this is my test date and I want to be done studying with all the material by this point. And then it's going to be able to create you a nice um, flashcard as well as a review schedule. And then finally, after watching each module, you can just do an actual quiz, which is formatted to be as close as possible to the actual format of the MCAT. So then you can get questions particularly in those areas. And this is really helpful because now you know, like if you got a four out of 10 of the questions they ask on neuron membrane potential, then maybe neurology or neurobiology is something that you need to hit on more for your MCAT before you actually start taking your next practice test or actually sit for the real exam. So it's a nice way to be able to test yourself specifically for topics and seeing how well you do. And one of the upcoming features for Remnote and MCAT is their MCAT QBank, which basically at the end of every chapter, like neurology, et cetera, they're going to have QBank questions that you can ask and basically get tested on in addition to the ones that you're quizzing on, which just increases the amount of practice you're doing. Now keep in mind, I would be using like a Princeton review, reading the chapter, doing like the limited 10 to 20 questions it had and hoping that'd be enough. But frankly, when I took the MCAT, I realized I probably needed more practice. And in case you're interested, we can actually already see which of the modules already have a QBank. So you can just key the format, but let's just say we're doing amino acids and proteins. And so you can get a very realistic looking 62 question, which is insane of just this topic, which is like freaking awesome. And similar to tests, you can highlight strike through, you can put this on test mode, you can put this on study mode, just lots of options. And then finally, and probably the coolest feature for me is the ability to create your own study schedule. Now there's other tools that I've talked about on the channel that can do this, but the fact that this can do this integrated within your study system is like the most exciting part. So let's just go ahead and say, set up a study schedule. You can essentially put the date that your exam is on and then have tons of flexibility and control in how you want to schedule that. You can basically come into their study schedule section and say, I want to start studying for the MCAT today because we're go-getters. We're going to have three months to study for exam. And when you begin the process of creating your schedule, now you can basically say like, when do I want to start? Today is technically the 4th of July as I'm making this. We're going to be like, we're going to start tomorrow because we're going to enjoy today. And now you can say when your exam date is going to be. And November seems to be kind of crazy. Let's just say our test is in September. We'll pick a date. The feature that I really like is basically saying like, when do you want to be done with all the material before your MCAT? And I usually like two or three weeks ahead. So we're just going to say 20-ish days. Basically tells you how many days, how many weeks you have, and then what score you're aiming for. And we're go-getters. So we're going to go for the 95th percentile because why not? And then some extra features that I found to be really cool. You can basically say how many weekly hours you want to study and essentially adjust this based off of your goals, your ability, how many lessons you want to do, particularly if you're somebody who's already watched some of the Khan Academy videos, etc. How many flashcards you want to do? Do you want to do all of them? The central ones, um, complete deck. If you want to have AI repeat back, basically summarize lessons in your own words. If you want the, to do the quiz function at the very end, maybe you only want to do the MCAT and QBank, you can basically say how you want to do your 55 hours in the setting. And then it's going to ask you kind of your background to so kind of understand which topics to prioritize. And again, let's say maybe you've taken the MCAT before. If you've taken a practice test before using this, potentially you know that you're terrible on organ systems, but you're okay with like biochemistry and social inequality and this social stuff you're okay with, but maybe behaviors and psychology you're not. And so you can just move things up as well. And you can ask like if you wanted to interleave um, sections, which is cool. And then finally, it's going to ask you which of the exams you want to take. And like, we're going to take all of them because why not? And then finally, how many hours a day do you have to study? And I'll kind of show you what a daily study schedule looks like, but maybe, you know, on Mondays you have some class and you have to potentially study more on the weekends. And again, we have to maybe figure out our, our schedule is not realistic based off of what we're doing here, but we're just going to say auto distribute hours and it's going to do so. And it's going to tell us essentially how many hours even that we have left to study for our test dates. So we're going to save that and we're going to get a daily schedule. And now basically RemNote starting tomorrow is going to tell me all of the topics I need to cover how many kind of minutes it's expecting me to do so and which kind of review blocks I can do. And Remnote also gives you the ability on the day of, like let's say you know that you're not able to commit as many hours, you can kind of make some adjustments as you go on a weekly basis, as well as come back and configure your study schedule based off of any changes. Maybe you realize Sunday is not even on the table anymore, and thus you have to take it off because you're always like volunteering or working or whatever maybe. Overall, this is pretty like 
kick-ass. To have a resource that allows you to do all of this and also knowing that Remnote is going to continue to improve this, plus their AI ability of using flashcards, teaching you tutor mode, like it's just like the one resource in one place. So again, if you are about to study for the MCAT, if you have already and kind of need something to help refine the process even more, and the link down below will have more information on pricing as well as pricing for the MCAT platform, which at the making of this video is about an extra $10 a month on top of your Remnote subscription for the time that you need it, which is honestly like pennies for all of the other resources that you pay for the MCAT. And as a bonus, if you just want to give Remnote a test drive, just kind of see how it works for you, then our friends at Remnote have been nice enough to give all of our viewers a free month of all of their pro features if you use the link down below in the description. So huge big thank you to Remnote for both being the sponsor of this video as well as just creating tools that I would have wanted to use earlier on. And now thankfully I get to share them with you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Add your questions down below in the comment section. And again, if you're new to Remnote and kind of want to see all the ways that I've used it, then I'll break down like a full step-by-step and -step exactly how I use Remnote here, as well as all of the cool ways that you can use AI via Remnote to study significantly faster. So check those out. And as always, thank you so much for being a part of my journey. Hopefully as a little help to you guys on yours. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.